Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making a very special video. So I've made, I'm not quite sure, I haven't kept track of the numbers. I've made a few videos for my channel, so you all already know that. Um, thank you to everyone who stuck around to this point. I'm going to be making more videos this year. And you're probably wondering why I didn't put a video out this like this sooner. I, I've been busy and I just got behind on making videos. I'm going to start putting out videos more frequently starting after the new year. And this is going to be the new year special. So I hope you enjoy. We're going to be doing a recap on all the glitches I know. And yeah, so we'll, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back now. So, what I want to say is this. So, we've gone over lots of glitches in the past, and a few of you have probably been in the videos with me when I did them. Um, I know a lot of you don't aren't on much anymore who has been in the videos with me in the past. But if anyone new would like to be in videos with me, I'll try and be on uh, the Wild Jungle map more often to recruit new people who maybe want to be in a video. But... For now, let's get started showing the first glitch. I'm pretty sure I listed this in my first ever video of Wildcraft. So, here we go. You just come right here. I'll see if Wildcraft didn't remove it. Here we go. As you can see, we're inside here. Now, a lot of people can't get out. You're probably going to have to use the den uh, teleportation to get out. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. But trying to get out is not very cool because as you can see I'm kind of stuck so you have to teleport inside your den and while we're here we might as well show the glitches here so this is the only den that I know of in the game to hold a glitch now you probably know this one this one has been big with players they seem to always find it really funny and silly but if you come just right along this little line and go just slow enough, I'm trying to get it to work. They might have patched it. I hope not. It looks like they might have patched it. Let's see. I'll give it a few more tries. I might also be at the wrong spot. My skills are a little rusty since I... Oh, never mind. They did not patch it. So as you can see, I just fell through. Now if I go and I... Let's see here. Oop, wrong thing. We need to pull up. This. So if I go, I come here, and I change the skin real quick. We'll just do that. Now we're under the water. This is a glitch that can come in handy for fun and anything else. But as soon as you move, it's going to take you out. So let me set this back real quick. And you might not know this, but it's on both sides. And I'm, yeah, that's pretty cool, but there's a lot of problems with it. I think... The wild craft is kind of slowing down at the rate of things they've been able to put out lately. Like, this is something cool and nice. If you own Wild Club, which I do, you can teleport to certain locations, which is very handy for making videos like this. Because the next thing we're going to show is more of a glitch and a secret combined. It's a secret because a lot of players would mislook at it as just, oh, what's this doing here? And just not pay much mind, but... I'll go ahead and go show it. It's right over here. Also, I am going to be checking out the new updates. Uh, haven't I should have covered them or sooner, but I just I didn't know they were out. I nobody ever I didn't see any videos saying it was out, no information. So, I really didn't know that there's this new water world, okay? And you can be a shark or a dolphin. I didn't know it was out. Haven't played on it really yet, so yeah, we'll check that out today. So as you can see, here's one of the secret things that there's some on every map like this. Floating trees. They're awesome, they're cool, and honestly, they're something that makes just the map special. So I can't say too much. So I think we're going to go ahead and head on to the next map. Because I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Wait, never mind, I did not cover everything. I forgot one secret glitch that someone showed me one of my friends on wildcraft a while ago so 
I didn't discover the tree. I was showed the tree. The only one here that I've discovered had to have been the... What's it called? Um, I'm trying to remember. Not the den. Uh, yeah, going into like the cave where the den area is. How you can glitch in there. I discovered that on my own. But this one I discovered by a friend. I no longer play at them. I, don't, I haven't seen them online in a while. But that's why. So if you drop this just right, you can get it to glitch on top of the rock. They might have removed this one. Nope. And then there you go. As long as you walk backwards, <laughs> you'll be good to go. If you walk forwards, it'll fix it, though. So you can even jump like this for fun. You won't go very far. People are going to get confused at you online, and they'll be like, how are you doing that? They'll probably call you a hacker. So, we're going to head on to the next map now. So, here we are. One of my favorite maps by far. I know it was only the second map added to Wildcraft. Now, this one only had... This one's really disappointed that I've only been able to discover two glitches here. And the one is a design glitch. That's why I call the design glitch a secret. The floating tree is a design glitch. When the developers were placing it down, they must have messed up when designing... But, yeah, here's the first one. It's a glitch where you can go in here. Uh, it looks like that hasn't been patched. I don't know if it's actually a glitch or they just did it so people wouldn't get stuck. That's the first glitch. Now we're going to head over on the map. I forgot to show you the last one, but I also did show you relatively where I teleport it to and then from there. So right around up here, I'll try and find the location off camera and then I'll show you where it's at. Up there is a floating tree, so I'll be back once I find it. And we're back. That took about a minute to find, so I just cut out filming trying to find it, because here it is, though. On the map, it's right over here. So if you come along the map this way, you will end up over here, and it's this tree. I don't know if it's easy to point it out, but there's three trees this way and four that way so this tree's the floating tree and you can never walk under them because they're still solid like how they're designed you're not able to go through there but forgot there's actually more glitches here than i remembered i just don't think i ever showed them so there's the floating tree now the next glitch is going to be right around here so we'll mark that on the map and as we're headed over there we will see the glitch. I don't think it's too far away. So if you see those ro that rock right there that I'm about to pass, it's using one of those rocks. I discovered this randomly with my friend one day. I got stuck in a rock. And it was funny. We were trying to figure out how to get out of the rock without going into a den. And yeah, so I'm quickly trying to get to where I have to go, but it's taking longer than I thought. Okay, here we are. So now we're at the lake, the frozen lake. If we come over to the frozen lake, we will see that it's this rock right here. It always has some weird glitch where if you jump at it just right, at the right spot, you'll literally glitch inside. I'll give it a few tries, see if I can get inside of it. It's probably going to give me trouble because that's its job. To not Glitches are not always easy. And with Wildcraft... All the glitches seem to be harmless. I haven't found one that's harmful to your game. Um, now, I might have trouble remembering how to get the one, uh, but I, I also don't think I will forget. It's hard to forget the one. Uh, it looks like I won't be able to get this one to work. Maybe I have to jump. I will figure this one out if I have to. I might have to go and reference from an old video, but I don't think I will. If I, if I can't figure it out, you can always use an old video to reference um i don't remember how i did this one i don't remember if i got in last time but there's a way where if you keep going like back and forth and jump you will end up glitching inside of there and there's one more glitch here i'm not going to show it in this video though i don't think because i don't it's kind of tricky and it takes way too much time to get to you have to use the eagle okay and for the glitch to work, you have to fly all the way over here and fly out of the map. 
kind of, and then you can go down on the ice down there, which is really just this texture. Um, so I can't quite explain it, but we're going to head to the next map, and I'll see you there. So here we are, we're back, but at the farm. And what we're going to do here is we're going to show some glitches. I forgot I'm going to have to come back to some of the maps being the eagle, which I will if I have to, but I preferably not. So right now I'm being my lynx, which as you can see, I have not worked very hard to level up just because, yeah, it's not my favorite animal in the game. So first off for glitches, it seems this bridge is just completely covered in glitches and I don't know why, but people love to do the bridge one and put it in the comments, even though they haven't seen my video where I figured it out. I figured out the glitches with the bridge. They'll still put it in the comments, which is fine. I love to read your guys' comments, what you put on my videos. So as you can see, this is the glitch, and I don't think it goes any further than this. I think you can do it on any side, but now I'm on the bridge and I'm floating. So you can go right off. I think you can do it any side, maybe. If I get this right, I think you can do it any animal too, but I'm not too sure. Maybe you can't do it any side, but there's also this secret. You can go inside the sides of the bridge. I don't know if there's anything to do with that, but you can. And there's actually quite a few glitches on the farm map. There's floating trees here, believe it or not. You can also enter both sides of this. By the way, I made this a public server. Anyone can join, so... Just ignore if anything crazy happens. So if I come in here, in the water, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, 100%, just making sure, cover everything. If we swap skins, okay, no, this doesn't work like the den. Even though I think it might have for a while, but I don't think it lo no longer does. So now if we go ahead and... I'm trying to remember here what we do. Oh, yeah. So if we get out of the water, there used to be this glitch where there was a piece of fence. I, I don't know if I ever covered it, but it would stick in the water. So if you go and you take your pet, right, and you change your pet, okay, well, it looks like it took away the hat when I changed the pet, which is very interesting. Oh, it doesn't have a hat. If you equip the hat, okay, and then you change the pet's hat, right, I think this is how it works. Should be, or you have to change the pet. Let, let me look. There should now be a giant hat spawned on the map. Let me find it where exactly, and I'm not too sure. Okay, I see where it's going to be. I'm headed the wrong way. So we'll head over this way, and we'll check out what's going on. Now... I think I'm going to start playing in public servers more often when I'm filming so you have a chance to join me if you see I'm online. And, yeah, and as we're headed over there, we'll real quick check the trees around here because apparently the trees over by the boss, I think it was, they float. So, I'm not 100% sure where exactly, but some of the trees somewhere on this map do float. I think it was these trees, actually. I think they just barely float off the ground. Uh, some of them do. I'm not sure if I'm by the boss or not. Good way to check. I don't know what... Oh, purple. It's a collection of it. So, yeah, there's the boss. Some of the trees around here somewhere. I, de I think they used to float. I think they might have fixed that. Or maybe I'm looking at the wrong trees. Wouldn't be surprised. So, if we look over here... Okay, this is where the glitch should spawn. They might have fixed this one, too. A lot of glitches that I filmed in the past may no longer work because... Well, because they're old. I filmed them almost a year ago, probably. Let's see. Nope, they did not fix the hat glitch. And that's a good thing. I actually relatively like this glitch. It's just handy to know. So let's go look at this hat now. You can do this and stack every single hat in the game, see what it would look like. But here we go. This is the hat. I'll be back when I get over to it. So I'm at the hat now, and it just spawns a giant hat. It has to do with some sequence of glitches, and it looks like it spawned two hats. So it looks like the glitch may be even more glitchier than it was. But there used to be a fence piece stuck there, and they fixed that. So now we're going to head up 
here. We're not going to show maybe not every glitch in this video, but I'm just going to recap the easy ones because I realized if I tried to recap every glitch, there's so many and yeah, some of them are pretty hard to accomplish. So we probably won't go over every glitch, but most of the ones and I realized I made a big mistake by heading over to this glitch first when I could have done. Uh, it's okay. So there's a glitch over here by the waterfall. I showed in my past video. And I love to go to this glitch with my friends. And there was a better glitch than this that I will show you. That I don't think I saw. I think I may or may not have seen a video for. I don't remember. But I love to get people with it, the glitch. Uh, I'll explain it a little more once I show it. So first, if we come up here, I might not get this one to work, but you can actually go behind the waterfall. It's pretty tricky, and I'll show you how to go this one because otherwise you might not be able to get behind it. So if you keep going... By the way, I have tried to fly off the maps with the birds before. It does not really work. Just so you know, the birds don't like to fly off the map. So I think it's around here where we can actually glitch down and through. Yep, looks like it's here. Or is this the wrong spot? Looks like I went down the wrong spot. And looks of, like, of course, that it's going to be a hard way back up. Um, also, I don't think the crocodile can accomplish any of these glitches. I mean, he, the crocodile might... But considering the crocodile is really one of the, not the best animal in Wildcraft when it comes to wanting to explore or anything. Let's see here. I'm slowly getting out of here. Maybe I went the wrong way. Uh, more than likely I did. I haven't honed my skills or played enough since updates to know what has been patched they haven't said anything about minor glitches being patched which really this is just a minor glitch it's not harmful it's fun if you're making stories or anything in wildcraft i don't do stories though also i'd like to hear your opinions on this i kind of want to get into animation and start animating a little bit i also kind of want to start um filming other content and that's part of the reason i want to start doing animation besides i like animation so i want to know have your opinion do you think i should get into animation i don't know if it's a good idea or not i'm gonna probably put up a group poll for everyone to go and uh put their vote in to see but i do want to know what you guys think if i should start animating next year or what because yeah, I, I'm up to the task. I'm not very good at artist or anything, so animating might not be my best skill. By the way, sorry for this um, taking so long. I, I'll probably cut it out till I get to the waterfall. I hate to say this, but I can no longer find a way to get into the waterfall you used to just be able to go like right here let me come here and see if i can get and just glitch into the wall you might see there's a lot of players joining i don't i just decided to make the server public looks like they're just doing whatever they're probably friends and they're like oh let's just join a public server because that's what people do they'll join a public server chat then they'll leave honestly it's funny when someone's like oh this guy looks like a youtuber but he there's no way he's probably just copying a YouTuber. I had one guy say that to me once. I, I said something like I was going to take a screenshot and put it in the video, but I, I overall forgot about it because people are going to do that. You know, I've only had things like that happen once. No one really recognizes me unless I say, do you recognize me? Then sometimes it clicks and they're like, oh, wait, you're this YouTuber, which makes sense because there's only 800 of you who, you know, watch. So makes sense well there's actually quite more than 800 of you that watch but 800 of you decide to subscribe so yeah well i can't find the glitch here but we're gonna go to the easiest glitch by far that on this map it's so easy to do all you gotta do is enter your den and uh where's the closest to the boss let's see well you don't want to too far so is this the spawn point i think this is the spawn where everyone meets up hopefully this isn't the boss no this is the spawn which is good so 
we come over here, right behind here, there's two glitches. The one is a graphic like glitch. They didn't turn collisions on on a rock, and so you can just slide right through the rock. It's kind of cool, kind of fun too. But I'll show you it. Just cover it anyway, because I like to cover just about everything in Wildcraft, even though sometimes I lose my enjoyment because they add an update that doesn't make much sense. I'm sure a lot of you enjoy skins, but they're adding so many skins that are so, like, I don't know how to say it. Their rarity is so high up for the skins that it's almost not worth it to try and get them because you're trying to get so many already and they're adding so many more, but they're so hard to get nobody's going to be able to complete their collection unless they have, like, a couple million hours to spend or have really good luck at opening chests. By the way, I hope they didn't remove this glitch. I'll find out here shortly, and if they did, I'm going to be angry. It's a harmless glitch, except for when you trick people to come up here. It looks like they didn't. So, as you can see, I came over here, and you can trick people with this one. Um... So, by the way, down there, those rocks, I forgot to show that. They're slipped through, actually, those ones down at the base of the hill. But up here, it hasn't been removed. This is by far my favorite, I think, glitch of them all. This is the void glitch. So you can jump, turn quickly. You can be like, follow me, and then you can lead someone up here, jump and turn around. No one will see it coming, but let's go. I think when I'm able to make live streams, I might just live stream to try to find out what's at the bottom of the void. That would be an interesting concept. So as we're falling, we just continue falling. You'll see all the sky. We just can't even look up far enough. The sun appears and you start to see clouds. And then in three, two, uh, one, we're going to enter the void now. And then once you enter the void, there's no escape. You just get to stare at the blinding sun until even the sun disappears because you're so far down. Now, this is the only map as of yet that we know there's the void. So besides that, nobody knows how to access the void. Well, I guess I'm going to head on to the next map and I'll see you. So I'm back. Here we go. So this is Savannah. I have not discovered many glitches here, but the glitches I have discovered by far are up there on the list of not my favorite, but glitches I really like. And in fact, now that I think about it even more, I, I really think there's only one glitch. So these mountains have always had this little crevice, which people sometimes call a den or all sorts of stuff. So if we head up there, I'll show you. I'll be back once I get there. Okay, so I'm back. I'm almost at the glitch. I got caught up half into explain to these this person they want me to be like adopt them or whatever i said to them i can't do that i can't i'm filming a video that i'm not role playing and it looks like in doing that i got sidetracked of looking at the direction i was going so here we go i think it's right up here let's see uh, ye, 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 did they remove it Wait a second. Something looks different. I think they may have removed it. Indeed. It looks like they could have done it. It's been... Oh, wait. No, it's still here. Barely. I just didn't notice it coming around the corner. So, here we are on this mountain range. There's this area. I love this glitch. It's fun to hide out from people. Nobody knows. You come back here as far as you can, okay? Then you turn around, go side scrape the wall, okay, as tight as you can, and then you're in. Where you're in? You're in the mountain. So that's pretty cool, pretty nice. And you can basically run around in here and explore. It's hard to exit. And literally, basically, you can try rubbing up against anything with your character in the game, and you might glitch inside. For example, you could literally run into the wall right here and you might glitch out like wildcraft with how much work they put into it glitches simple glitches like this are not worth removing they've got bigger plans uh turbo rocket games does well i'm gonna go ahead and head on to the next map because this is the only glitch here 
I'm back, so I actually skipped Savannah Lakes because there's still yet to be any glitches really there. There's some little spots that you can hide, but they're not really glitches. I also skipped the other one because there's no uh, glitches I can think of uh, in Valley of the Giants. So here there's a secret area I like to hide out in right about... Uh, actually, now that I think about it, they might have removed it. I think, though... I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's over here, though. And then over here is the other secret, I think. I'll show you when I get there. Okay, so actually, I think they updated this map. No longer is there that small area, it looks like. And I don't remember having dried up grass thrown around the edges of the map. So I'm going to continue looking for a little bit. But I have a feeling they updated this map so you can no longer have fun by doing fun glitches. Knowing Wildcraft, I wouldn't put it past them to update the most, like, creative glitch that people discover. Because, really, this one, getting outside of the map and hiding behind some rocks through a tight squeeze, they would not mind removing that, knowing Wildcraft. They like to remove a lot of things that people do and didn't. Like, for example, they removed the ability to... Speak by saying the number 200 you can't say 200 in the chat or i can't i'll try and show you it doesn't always work in fact i think i might have found the other secret that i wasn't looking for yet no nope, not what i thought so we'll continue going over here yeah it looks sadly like they might have removed the glitches here you can see the old videos in the past when i found them but it's kind of sad that really doesn't look like they're here anymore they removed my secret hideout. I love this map for the secret hideout I discovered. It wasn't really a hideout, but I always hid there, so... I guess we'll try and find the other secret, then. See you when I get there. Some bad news for you all. They've updated this map. It optimized lag. Yes, it's a little less laggy here. But no longer can you escape the map. You can escape the map and they remove the cool spot in which you could go in and kind of hide. It's kind of dumb, some of the things they removed. Like, it never hurt anyone. Nobody was ever hurt by it, but they removed it anyway. That you can expect Turbo Rocket Games to change certain things or not be able to fix things. Because, well, I've been trying to get in contact with them to fix something, which I'll go over here in a minute. In fact, I'll go over it right now because I'm going to go to the main menu. So, this is it. There's no more glitches there. They've completely removed them. And the glitches I did show you, it won't be long till they find out about them and remove them too. And then channels like me who love to cover glitches, they're just going to be gone. They're going to be part of history. And yet this glitch that they can't even fix, see the rocket button? I'm sure if you've seen other channels, you're supposed to be able to click that and go save your data to the cloud. I can't. It's literally impossible for me to. I'm literally tapping it right now. Nothing happens. I can click settings. And there's supposed to be some parental zone in here. So I can have friend chat and clan chat enabled. Nope. Not in here. You won't find them. So, kind of stinks. But I can't do anything about it. Hopefully they haven't removed the last glitches left on my list. Which will be Wild Jungles. So I'll just quickly go through here and I'll show you what I'm doing. Expect this video to be a lot longer. Looks like it might turn out a little short. Now, if we hit create game, we'll just create, we'll go quick. This, I don't care what anyone says, this is still by far my favorite map to play on without, like, for leveling up because. I don't play the Egypt map. I've never played it. The only thing I've gotten on it recently to do is to check whether or not people were lying. They were saying, go in the one pyramid, go up against the wall. You do, and it's a fake glitch. So they make this no-clip wall that you can slip through, and then you have can fight some weird crocodile, lion, hippopotamus or something. Really, not that cool. It's not even worth my time. Making a fictional animal that you have to fight is not as good as fighting a real animal. I mean, if it's a fictional animal, then you might as well say you have fictional powers to eat it, too, and destroy it. So, 
who knows where Wildcraft's gonna go in the future, and hopefully they don't ruin stuff. Let's see. If this glitch is still here, I'm gonna be happy for many reasons. And yes, it is. So, we're only right here up on the mountain. Nowhere too crazy, and it looks like they did not remove this glitch. Um, I really do think, though, that this is the only glitch here. I'm trying to remember my memory. Remember if there was any other glitches here, but... I seriously just can't, so I guess we're gonna go check out the new update and see what's really new after we, since we're done here. I, I do want to see if the Tygon is in any way something special. It's very interesting, this guy, if this is, I wonder if this is someone I knew at one point. They joined me in another server, they, weren't they just on my last server? I'm going to ask them something. Uh, stick around, because I'm going to ask this some person someone. Because um, this is a very strange occurrence that somebody follows me from two servers. They're sitting still. Looks like they're going to reply. Let's see. And I'll be back. So, the person hasn't replied. Well, I guess I'm just gonna... I should use the secret here. I'm just gonna move on. I'll check out the new update in a minute. Um, looks like they don't have anything to say. They didn't answer. It looks like they were fighting an animal. I don't know what for. They still have no answer. They're, they're sitting there. Maybe they'll start to reply. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and go check out the update, I guess, the new underwater stuff as the shark, because the shark, in my opinion, looks better than the dolphin. And I have enough gems to afford it. I have way too many gems. I should not have that many. But considering I basically unlock everything through chests, it's not surprising. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Here we are, we're in the water world, so I'm going to check it out, and I'm going to be the shark. I mean, I don't like how it has to be ocean world and wild world. I mean, the ocean's still part of the wild, is it not? And as you see, I still can't press the button. I can press settings, anything in here that can help. Uh, doesn't look like it. Um... Yeah, nothing in here too helpful. But I will do this since I have the ability to. I will unlock the shark. And I think I'm going to go collection with the dolphin. I think I'll leave the dolphin alone. But I'm going to play as the shark, I think. And I think we're going to decorate my shark. Let's see. This is pretty epic looking. I'm guessing pearls you get from getting duplicate chests in this world. Yeah, I might like this world better than what I thought, because honestly, I like hammerhead sharks a whole bunch. And then tiger sharks, you know, that just adds to the awesomeness. Now, the common shark skins, are they're just kind of, you know, common. So, we'll go back to the shark. We'll see. I mean, putting clothes on sharks doesn't, doesn't make much sense to me, so I think... I mean, fish wearing clothes, just, just a little bit weird. And hats underwater, wouldn't they, you know, float off? I mean, it's a little bit confusing. I mean, some of the hats are just pure silly. I'm sure I'll find a lot of people wearing these. Yeah, but that's fine. I'll just go up. I mean, I'd wear something like this, just to be silly. Say I'm Captain Shark. Let's see. I will unlock these real quick. They're only five. Wait, they're green. Is that just me? Those are green eyes. And ignore that up there. That's just... I'm subscribed to a YouTuber, so... yeah. I guess I'll get... The, you know? I don't know what eyes I want to get. Yellow eyes on the shark look good. Okay, those are just creepy. I like purple, though. Let's see. Uh... Huh. I think I'm gonna do... Oh, they're right. They're fixed. Now they're more of a blue color. I like white eyes. I'll do that. So, well, wait, they've got underwater pets. 
Well, I already found... Oh, okay, we, never mind. I was going to say I found my favorite. That's actually kind of ugly. Uh, honestly. Yeah, probably the clownfish is pff, the best pet so far. Uh, let's see. Get new items by opening chests. Of course you have to open chests. Uh, let's see. Stats. Uh, I don't know. Is there going to be a boss fight in the underwater world? I can't play multiplayer yet. I haven't done anything. So let's go single player. Okay. Now, I won't keep the name I'm giving him, just so you know. You guys give me a name in the comments, and I'll probably name the shark. Whoever picks the best name. I think for now I'm just going to name him 2021. Because, oh, well, oh, wait, no, not 2021, I kind of messed up there, oops, 2022, because at the time the video comes out, it'll be 2022, we already have them all ready, mm, yep, wait, what's this, oh, okay, that's kind of cool, shark loop the loop, does it just repeat, okay, no, but here we go, we're ready to go, so let's see, we can click to change your den, Do is there... You know, I'll just unlock it. It's lost city. I don't think I'll use it much, but let's do this. Required level, the reef. I don't think there's... I mean, it's cool overall, but I feel like going to the ocean after having, like, nothing to do with it. They just took the eagle's controls and slapped them on a shark. Okay, why am I at the surface? Um... There's some problems here I do that do arise. Um, hello? <laughs> is the is the shark broken? I mean, he's kind of funny. He looks like the snake, and the way his head bends. It's, what? Hello? Yeah. What if I teleport to the den? Hello? Does this work? Okay, I've never been in the underwater den. This is actually kind of cool. What are customizational stuff? You can only sit on the two ledges. An underwater hotel maybe would be awesome. Oh, look at this stuff. This is actually pretty cool. It's all corally themed. That's pretty epic. Let's see. Now if I teleport out, will I not get stuck? I'm going to kind of know what the boss is. So I'll spawn over here. I wouldn't be surprised if the boss is like a crab. Let's see. Map world. Uh, no. Oh, yes, actually, we do want to go here. We're going to see what the boss is, and I think then we're going to start to wrap up the video. I'll claim my free level up. Here we go. Killer Whale. Of course, this is the boss. Just makes sense. Um. Ooh. Thresher Shark. That's interesting. There's Octopus. It's going to be interesting to see how exactly they design this. I mean... In general, it already is. I wonder if you can hunt these fish. Probably not, even though it does look kind of like they're running away. Nah. There's totally something to do with that, but... I want to find the boss way off in the distance. Not too worried about quests yet. This was the closest spawn point. I wonder if there's any undersea caves. That would be pretty cool. What's this? I mean, the map's huge and surprisingly optimal. No lag. Can, can, ooh, do these hurt? These sea urchin? No, those are plants. They look kind of like sea urchins, though. I mean, you might get where I'm going. It's a little bit hard to steer. And I don't think lionfish attack, by the way. So if, if that's a lionfish, I'm not sure. People can make a lot of interesting videos in this new world. Uh, you know, it'll give me a lot of new content. And as you saw, a brand new glitch, 2022, and here we are. Already a new glitch, even though I filmed this 2021, last few hours of 2021. Yeah. Can't believe we discovered a new glitch. Just spawning in as a shark, you have a chance to spawn in at a weird spot. Oh, it turns out I completely passed the boss. And yeah, the boss is a killer whale above like a giant old carcass on some old stone thing. I probably don't want to get anywhere near it, considering it probably one hit kills. But it makes sense. The underwater base now, like, den clearly just leads to meaning that they were going to add something like this. Does the shark not even hurt it? Oh, it does. Let's see. Yeah, that thing probably kills fast, so... 
I'll just get away and I'll go down here. But this is relatively cool. Well, I think I'm going to get ready to wrap up the video here in a minute. Now, as I said before, I do want to know what your opinions on this. Should I start animating and filming some other content? I'm going to put two polls up for the things that are options at the moment. So you guys can know because I want to know what you guys think and everything. Um, let me go ahead and set this to free camera real quick so we can get a better look at the shark. Shark's pretty epic. I mean, it's hard to beat something that looks this cool. There's even these underwater, like, trenches and... We'll go down. We'll see what's down here. Probably nothing. But I think I'm gonna wrap the video up since I still have to edit it and everything. Uh, the update's relatively nice. I didn't believe there was a water thing at it when I did see a video on YouTube. I thought people were making it up. People want to see this for a while. I'm glad it's not a transformation for, like, animals that would make everything kind of annoying. Just, the only thing annoying is that it's a new world with a new currency. Like, you could have kept the currency, I feel like. But, you know... It's all good. I understand it. They're trying to branch off, make more people willing to play, more people than just people who like land animals. So, I hope Turbo Rocket Games can make their games work out. And, yeah. I guess I'll see you in the new year, and Happy New Year to everyone, because I know this video will be coming out hopefully at 12, if I can figure out how to schedule a video upload date. But, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you all have a good New Year's uh, Eve and hope you all had a good New Year's Eve and that you all had a good New Year's. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye and stay safe.